Hi, so this is the uh, second video in the playlist on the sign rule. And with this particular uh, video is aimed at uh, generally higher level uh, at uh, high school maths. Uh, typically a grade A question, something like that. And basically it deals with the relationship between the sides and angles of triangles. So in this particular um, video we're going to look at this relationship which is A over sine A equals b over sine b equals c over sine c. Okay, um, a fairly typical question will involve um, basically a triangle and they're usually fairly odd shaped triangles really um, to make sure that the numbers work out okay for you and you get given a little bit of information. So in this particular case we're told that this is 22 degrees uh, this top here is 130 degrees um, and this bit over here is 8.5 and what they ask you to do is to calculate this bottom length. Okay, best advice when you get these sorts of um, uh, questions is to relabel them to suit yourself. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier if you use this sort of terminology. So what I'm going to do is I actually know that as 22 degrees. So I'm going to say, in this particular case, I'm just going to call it B. And opposite to that is going to be small b. So in other words, that's that relationship at the top there. Um, I'm going to call this C. And this bottom bit is going to be small c. I could call it A and B if I wanted to. It doesn't really make any difference, providing you make sure that you use this relationship uh, in the correct way. So once you've actually labelled your diagram, you're then in a position where you can start to put some numbers. OK, so I'm going to say that C over C there. So I've got C, which is what I'm looking for, divided by sine C. And that's going to be equal to B, which we know is 8.5, and that's going to be divided by sine B. OK, so let's put some detail into that. C we don't know, and sine C we do, because it's sine of 130 degrees. OK, next bit is B, which we know is 8.5. 8.5 and that's divided by sine b which is the sine of 22 degrees so I'm going to put that in as well. Okay now I can do a little bit of manipulation just a little bit of algebraic manipulation if you need to know how to do that if you have a look at one of the other videos but really we're just going to balance everything around the equal sign so it's going to give me c equals 8.5 multiplied by sine of 130 degrees, I'm going to divide that by the sine of 22 degrees. And I put that information into my calculator. Need to be a little bit careful with these. You need to make sure that maybe you put that into brackets to tell the calculator to divide that term by sine 22. And once you've put it into the brackets, you'll get some, uh, put it into the calculator, you'll get something like this. So you get 17.38, and it goes on a little bit, 1909, blah, blah. So in other words, to three significant figures, we can call that 17.4. And I think this particular triangle is 17.4 metres, because this information is given to us as a meter. Um, I hope that's okay. Please do add a comment below. Have a look at the, uh, the other video on using the sign rule in order to calculate a missing angle. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Please do subscribe, pin, tweet, post on this particular video. Look forward to seeing you next time.